Good morning, everyone, and uh, welcome to our, our first week of the flu season. I know it's hard to believe when behind me you can see the uh, the sun is shining and the sky is blue. Um, but we are now embarking upon one of the uh, the more more challenging seasons of the year that we have in terms of our of our workload, but actually in terms of what we do as as pharmacists and professionals, I, I think personally one of the most important things that we that we do. A um, few people have asked me why I've uh, changed the icon on our WhatsApp group to uh, to a rather rough looking picture of my uh, my eldest son. Um, so I thought I'd take time out once again just to explain the story because it uh, it kind of gives a feeling as to why I'm so passionate about providing this service and protecting so many people from from flu. The story starts in 2010. For those um, people who have long memories, um, you'll probably remember that, that December in 2010 was characterised by an awful lot of snow, um, nearly a foot deep here in the northeast, um, and uh, caused major disruption and difficulty to, to pharmacies all across the northeast. But what I remember it for was a very difficult Christmas. My my son Oliver was at that stage about three and a half. We'd just moved into our, our new house, which was partly a building site and freezing cold. Um, but ultimately, it was the first Christmas where actually he was very excited um, about uh, Santa coming. It was the first time he really, as a, as a child of that age, knew what was going on. And uh, and and we, my wife and I, were also very excited about that being his his first very memorable Christmas. And all he wanted was a uh, was a helicopter, Playmobil helicopter. That's that's all he kept on going on about because there was something like that at nursery, and that was his uh, his favourite toy. Um, but ultimately, towards uh, the twenty third, twenty fourth of December, it became very clear that uh, that Oliver was very poorly and uh, had a very difficult uh, couple of days. Temperature, runny nose, lethargy, irritable, um, no energy at all, crying the whole time. Um, and as you could see from that picture that I've that I've shared, by Christmas morning. Um, he was not in a position to enjoy anything. We could barely get him out of bed. He didn't want any of his toys, didn't want anything to eat. It was absolutely horrible as a parent to, to watch. What then became apparent, though, by the end of that day, by the end of Christmas Day, um, both my wife and I were, were also struck down by, by the flu that Oliver had caught at his nursery and, and brought home to our house. Uh, by the end of Christmas Day, I could barely move, uh, my wife could barely move, and, and Oliver was in a really, really difficult place too. Um, we had to, to cancel a visit from, from my parents because they're old and frail. Uh, we couldn't go and see them. They couldn't come and see us because of the risk that that posed to, to them. And, uh, and it was very difficult over that period to, to actually enjoy anything at all. Uh, on the night of Christmas Day into to Boxing Day, I, I got up to make myself a, a drink because I was feeling lousy. And uh, and whilst I was on the landing, I passed out. Um, I was uh, struggling in terms of my temperature that much. Um, it, it really knocked me for six. Um, and there, but for the grace of God, I could have fallen down our stairs um, or through one of the... Uh, uh, or, or, or you know, through one of the the doorways and and hit my head against something. Fortunately, I just uh, passed out and collapsed onto the landing, but uh, could have been a lot worse. So for probably four or five days, um, we as a family were completely wiped out, and uh, we we missed really any celebration of Christmas. We have just a couple of photos to remember that Christmas by. Um, and uh, whilst Oliver remembers being very poorly, fortunately it hasn't uh, scarred him mentally for life, not enjoying his first Christmas. And he now looks forward to every Christmas like every young boy does. Um, but it really hit uh, myself and my wife just how seriously flu can uh, damage uh, families' enjoyments of Christmas. Um, but I guess even worse, you know, had I and my wife and, and Oliver not been young and reasonably healthy, it could have been a heck of a lot worse. You know, if, if we'd have passed that on to, to one of my frail parents um, or, or one of my wife's frail parents, 
then that could have had a massive implication on them too. Um, you know, we were very lucky. Our new neighbours were able to uh, to bring us some milk on the twenty seventh because I don't think we'd have been able to to go out and get any. Um, but the impact could have been so so much worse. So when we come to talking about the flu season in our pharmacies, I know it's easy to look at numbers that we've got to do, workload that it's going to be, hassle that it's going to be, documents that need to be signed off, um, things that need to be sent and emailed, sharps bins not being in the right place, the posters not saying the right things, all those sorts of things that happen, the fridge being too full. But ultimately, it comes down to a more or a more personal story for me. Um, and, and that story for me has, at least since 2010, been I want to have my jab early because I don't want to go through that. I don't want any of my family to have to go through that again. I don't want to feel that um, a whole part of my winter, and in my case, it was a very special part of my winter, has been completely wiped out. Um, I don't want to feel that I'm putting any members of my family at any greater risk than they need to be, which is why I'm a little bit of a of an evangelist when it comes down to to this, and uh, why hopefully you'll you'll join me in this quest that we that we face from from this morning onwards um, to deliver this service to to protect not just healthy people like myself and my wife and Oliver, but actually to protect in particular those vulnerable people for who flu can be um, quite literally um, the end of their world this winter. So um, good luck in setting up your service. Thank you for taking time out to, to listen. Hopefully that personal story explains a little bit about why I get so um, energetic and animated at this time of year, because I really do see not just as, a, as an RPM, not just as a pharmacist, but actually as a as a parent and a son, I see how important this this service is to the uh, the people that use our pharmacies. So, good luck in delivering a great service this year. Thanks for taking time out to watch, and uh, uh, hopefully everyone will get as much satisfaction as I do from from seeing the success that that service has in terms of preventing the illness across this winter. Have a great week, everyone.